Hello and welcome to The Chopper Build, episode two. Now, last week we made a lovely looking anchoring system for that rear drum. Today, we're gonna to move our eyes forwards a little bit and we're gonna be working on a brake pedal. So again, we're gonna be working with stainless steel and hopefully I can make it look cool and a little bit quirky as well. So before I actually start making the brake pedal, I need a pivot, and from that pivot, I'll be able to build off of it. So what that's gonna involve is making a small sleeve that's gonna fit over this. Um, and for that, I've got an offcut of stainless steel. Now this is something I actually bought. Offcuts are a great way of saving money. If you can find them cheap, it's something someone else doesn't want, and it's really handy to me. So I'm gonna pop this in the lathe and bore out the middle until it's a nice fit over there and gives us a smooth action. Now we're working with stainless steel again, so we've got to be careful that it doesn't harden up whilst we use it. So again, we're gonna be taking things really slow and using a bit of lubrication. So I've used my calipers to measure up the spindle and it comes to about 15 millimeters. So I need to drill a 15 millimeter bore in here. Now the very first thing I'm gonna do is pop it in the lathe and find the center. So I'm gonna take a bit that goes into the center and just pre-drills a little starting hole for your drill bit. After that, I'm gonna go through various sizes of drill bits, um, moving up until I'm at a size 15 and I'll try it. If a 15 doesn't work, I'll go to 15.5, try it, and again, if that doesn't work, it'll be a 16. I don't wanna have a loose fit on there because that's gonna introduce play and eventually you'll get more wear. So I'm gonna pop it in the lathe now, find the center and start boring it out. <laughs> So I've finished boring out my stainless now, and it took me quite some time, but as I say, you will kick yourself if you uh, rush it. So it fits on there nicely now, and it's got a nice smooth motion, which means it's time to start thinking about the arm that will come from that pivot. Now, brake pedals never look that nice, even when they come from the factory. Um, so it is quite difficult to come up with something that's gonna flow with the bike. But I've come up with a couple of bends, and I've put them into my welding rod, much like I did in last episode. So now I need to measure that, cut out my length of stainless, and I'm gonna get out the gas torch and start bending it. So now I've got my uh, brake arm all bent up. It's looking pretty wiggly and a little bit weird, but I think once we put it on there and polish it up, it's gonna look pretty smart. So that's gonna sit there just like that. Um, my next step is to perform one of my dodgy looking TIG welds and match that onto the pivot. Before I do that, I'm gonna have to prep this area and I'm gonna do that by shaping it so it's a nice snug rounded fit against our pivot. So I finished up my welding on there and that's come out pretty smart. I'm rather pleased with that. Um, what's more is it fits on very nicely and roots itself well. Um, so the next thing I need to do is find a way of connecting the action of the brake pedal to the drum brake and 
Usually that would be done via a six mil bit of rod, um, which is that. Obviously we're not gonna use that, but what I can do is take this fitting off, and I'm also gonna take off some of the components from the old drum. Then I'm gonna put a little thread on here so that I can start fitting some of those components, thread it through the back there, and see where we're gonna end up. So I finished cutting my thread into my bar. Um, it was a little bit of a struggle. This stuff isn't the most accurately made. And sometimes when I'm struggling to start a thread, I'll put a little taper on there. And I'm sure an engineer would tell you otherwise, but it's working for me. So all my hardware is transferred across and now I've got this lovely functioning brake arm. Our next issue is that running this straight along here, it ends up over here. And uh, what I want is for it to come over here because this is where my little arm is gonna go which will in turn pull on that. Now you might be thinking I could just go ahead and bend that and that'll be okay, but this is gonna be a pulling force. So under hard braking, it might well unbend itself and you don't want that. So what I'm actually gonna do is I'm going to cut it in some angles and make something that looks like a lightning bolt. Uh, one, that's gonna be really cool. It's gonna make a nice feature for the chopper, but two, it's a very strong structure. So I'm gonna take this out now, cut it, and then re-weld it in place and hopefully I can get this end of the rod to end up over here. So I suppose you're wondering why I've cut from that to me in front of my shed. Well, truth be told, that's as far as I got. Um, I've had a lot going on in life recently, and long and the short of it is, I won't be going back to the workshop. But that's not all bad news, because really where this puts me is at a position where I can go ahead and buy some new tools, and that is certainly no bad thing. So the chopper project is on hold for a little bit. Um, this shed is gonna be getting knocked down. There's gonna be a bigger, better one in place and I'm going to be going ahead and buying lots of new bits and uh, making a new space for me to work. Now the buying the new tools thing is really really great because I'm going to be able to tell you guys what I'm buying and why it's going to be handy and also this is maybe going to put me a little bit closer to you guys um, because I'm not going to have a massive workshop with loads of tools at my disposal. Um, so it's going to force me to be creative and I think it's going to evolve the channel in a way uh, that will be really beneficial to you guys. Now, just because I haven't got the workshop anymore, um, that doesn't mean that the videos are gonna be on hold. The build videos will be, but I'll still be uploading weekly. I'm hoping I can do some green laning videos, some riding videos, and maybe I can show you around a few bikes or get some other people to show you around a few bikes. But I'm really, really looking forward to talking you all through what tools I'm gonna buy and setting out my new space. This is really good stuff and it's quite exciting. So thank you for watching this very odd episode and uh, I'll see you next week when I've got no idea what I'll be doing. Thanks very much.